What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Unplugged and Uncut, the news source for sports, news, and entertainment. You are live with your boy, Unique. And today we're going to get into, should the Spurs start Isaiah Roby? Before I get started, if you haven't taken the time to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. We are giving away a PlayStation 5 disc edition with the game of your choice. And all you got to do to be entered to win is be an active subscriber and leave comments in the comment section. But without further ado, let's get into the San Antonio Spurs and should they start Isaiah Roby. Now, potential starting lineup featuring Isaiah Roby. Let's go ahead and get that out the way real quickly. Could look a little something like this. Point guard Trey Jones, shooting guard Devin Vassell, small forward Keldon Johnson, power forward Isaiah Roby, center Jakob Perto, unless he gets traded, as it is known, the Spurs are shopping Jakob Perto. You can switch Jakob Perto out for Zach Collins. Bam, not a bad starting lineup. Also, if you don't want to start Trey Jones, you could start Josh Primo or Blake Wesley. I am fine with either of those. Actually, I prefer Blake Wesley. But Trey Jones is the more veteran player and probably deserves the nod. We'll see how training cap goes because we are getting closer, guys. But let's take a look at Isaiah Roby and how he could affect the San Antonio Spurs. So first of all, starting Isaiah Roby at the power forward position, that's going to add size, shooting, and rebounding. That is right. Isaiah Roby also has the potential to be a three-level scorer, able to get to the bucket, he has a decent mid-range game and can hit from the three. It will also allow Keldon Johnson to play a more natural position on the wing at small forward. Isaiah Roby is also a better defender than Doug McBuckets. Now, putting Doug McBuckets on the bench with Josh Richardson gives you two players that can hit 40% from three. That is an invaluable commodity. Now, we might see Josh Richardson and Doug McBuckets traded here. But that is not what this video is about. Just the potential of what Isaiah Roby starting would look like. He is also capable of switching with wings if needed on defense. So Isaiah Roby's versatility, his ability to rebound, shoot, and get buckets inside. I'm not saying he's the perfect player, but compared to some of the players on the roster, he could provide a unique skill set that the Spurs haven't had. He's also pretty fast, so he can keep up with the point guards and the Spurs' young youth. Now, the bad might be it could raise the Spurs' floor a little too high, meaning having a better player at power forward than Doug McBuckets kind of offsets what you lose from DeJounte Murray, especially if you step in with Trey Jones. So maybe the Spurs don't lose as many games as we might want them to, and that could affect their draft position. Now, maybe you curve the winning by starting Josh Primo or Blake Wesley over Trey Jones. That way you get the benefits of Isaiah Roby being in the starting lineup, but you also get the benefits of the youngsters help curving those wins. So you don't win too many games. <laughs> all right, guys. But honestly, that's all we really had for Isaiah Roby. And the question is, should he start Spur fans? How do you feel? Do you think the Spurs should start Isaiah Roby? Do you think Zach Collins should start? Or do you think Keldon Johnson should start at power forward? You could be with me and think Jeremy Sohan should get that nod. I honestly would run with the rookies. Guys, my favorite lineup to start for this season would be Blake Wesley, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, Jakob Pertle. That's the lineup I would run. But we got to wait and see what the Spurs do. It's going to be an interesting season especially with the Spurs, considering their ability to get a higher draft pick this season. Do you want to bottom out this season, or do you want to stay competitive and win as many games as you can? Very interesting question, and that's why it's good to ask, should Isaiah Roby get the start? I can't wait to hear how you guys feel about this one in the comment section, but that's all we got for this part of the show, and your boy is out. Peace.